the acupressure and reflexology points, we're going to be using either finger, static pressure, and then with an upwards movement, and then tapping six times. Tapping needs to be done quite quickly so that we induce a sensation by the nerves. For some of the movements, uh, number eight, number 14 and number 15, we're going to introduce a stroking movement to cover about an inch over the face. Where we use a stroking movement, that indicates a purely reflexology point where we use the static movement, circular and then tapping, that implies an acupressure point that may also be relevant as a reflexology point. Can ask your client to take a deep breath in as we start this movement, just opening up the nasal chamber. If you can get an extra line in, just below the cheeks, working out to the ears, down to the chin, with the mid finger running along the jawline. Well, we're going to be looking at the lifting. To do this, we're going to use our thumb placed on face, and then using our finger, we're going to lift and just hold for a moment before releasing and then moving on to the next stage. So starting at the medial point of the eyebrow, thumb is placed, finger then lifts. It's very important that the thumb is placed first and that we only use a lifting action and that we do not pinch. We're holding just for a moment or moving on to the next point just so that we can actually basically leave a message for that section of the face to recall and remember. Moving on now, we're going to use, working across any crow's feet, and because crow's feet run across the face rather than down, we actually want to just plump that area up. So using a scissor action, place your first finger, bring the second finger up and you just want to get enough of a fold of skin there without encouraging any frown lines etc and just work out to the hairline They're going to pat the face quite briskly, starting off quite slowly first, just so you get the routine. And then coming up the face, over onto the forehead, back across the forehead, and down the face. And over to the other side. And back up onto the forehead. Then going to tap, quite fast movements. And basically you just want to cover the whole of the face. Now, it's very important that your client is possibly aware of this, but it's sometimes nice to actually ask them what was the sensation they felt. And basically just asking all the nerve endings to react. You can be quite firm with this movement. You basically just want to stimulate all the nerve endings and the muscles and ask them to start to tone themselves and lift. And we're going to just effleurage up 
the throat, just taking care as you work along this area. Not everybody likes to be worked around the neck. And we're going to use our fingertips just to work up the face. Now, if we've actually actioned our tapping and then our raindrops correctly, the face now will be imagining that it is actually lifting and will be installing another message into the brain that should be lifting our face. From the forehead, coming to the hair, I'm just going to massage that area again. 